Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video on how to use Zoom. I posted my first Zoom video back in March and that video covers the more kind of basics of Zoom. I will link it on the screen here and in the description box as well if you wanna check that one out. But I did have a lot of questions on that previous video that I figured I would make a part two to address some of those questions as well as just some additional things. For example, that my mom, who's a teacher, has been asking for help with when she's been using Zoom. So I will leave a list in the description box of the topics that I'll be covering today along with their timestamps. So if you need to skip around or go back to something, I will have the timestamps listed. And if you don't see the topic that you need help with covered in the description box, then I would check out my previous video, which again will be linked. And I will also be including screen recordings in this video so that you can actually follow along with me while I'm showing you everything. I will be doing a screen recording on my Mac but these things should work the same on a PC. When I was doing it with my mom earlier, it worked the same way, so hopefully your PC is the same. I hope you like this video. If you know anybody else who needs help with this kind of stuff, please make sure to share it with them so we can all help each other out, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I am in a Zoom meeting now, as you can see right here. And the first thing I wanna go over is meeting recordings. I know a lot of people now are using Zoom for like teaching and tutoring, or maybe for work presentations where you need to record it and then send it to somebody later. So that's the first thing I wanna go over today. And the easiest thing you can do if you are inside a Zoom meeting like I am here is to just go to the bottom bar and click record. And as you can see up here, here is your task bar for recording. So at any moment, if you need to pause your recording, you can do that and then start it up again. And you can also do it down here. As you can see, you can pause or just go ahead and stop it. But obviously that relies on your memory of in every meeting starting off and clicking record so if you want that to be a default setting where in every single meeting that you start up your zoom will automatically record you just have to go into your zoom settings on a web browser so i'll show you how to do that now so we are just going to go to zoom.us and then click on my account here at the top and on the left hand side you're gonna wanna click on settings. And the second tab in settings is recording right here. And you can toggle automatic recordings on or off depending on what you want. But if you want to automatically sign into Zoom and have your meeting start with a recording, you wanna toggle that on. The next thing I want to go over is screen sharing, which was a big question that I got in my previous video. And if you were inside your Zoom meeting and you just move your cursor, the bottom bar will pop up and you'll see this green area right here that says share screen. And you just click on the green arrow and this assortment of options will pop up. The most popular one is to share a desktop if you wanna show a video or something like that. But any application that you have on your computer that's open, even if it's minimized, as long as the application itself is open, it should show up as an option for your screen sharing abilities. So for example, I have Google Chrome open, I have pages open so I can share a document. Um, but for this example, let's just go ahead and start sharing my desktop. And as you can see here, anything in this green outline is what a participant of my Zoom meeting would see. So anything in green is being shared. Um, the exception being this taskbar right here. Nobody else is gonna see that but you. So if you need to click and drag and move it around so that you can access different tabs, you can do that. You can also pause your screen share if maybe you're having technical difficulties and you need a minute. Um, and then this is also where you stop share. Also, if you wanna switch from sharing your desktop to maybe sharing a document, um, you don't actually have to stop sharing and start a new share. You can click just new share right here and then switch to, I'll switch to this pages document that I have. I'll move my taskbar out of the way for a minute. 
and I can share the document and as you can see now the green outline is around my document so that is the only thing that people on my Zoom will be able to see. Another important thing to do if you are sharing your screen and you want to show videos is to click share computer sound right here and optimize screen for sharing video clip if you are going to be sharing videos you want your participants to be able to hear those videos make sure that those two boxes are checked okay so now let's say your taskbar is just really annoying you and you want to hide it if you click on more right here the three dots you can actually hide the floating meeting controls and then as it'll show you right here you can just click escape to have the controls pop back up so i'm going to stop sharing just for a moment and I'm going to show you what you can do if you want someone else in your meeting to be able to share their screen and you need to give them permission to do that. So instead of clicking this green arrow in the box right here, you're going to click the smaller green arrow and then click advanced sharing options. If you go to the who can share section right here, you want to select all participants so that way anybody else on the meeting that is a participant and not a host can share their screen as well. And then if you wanna change it back to where you can only share, then just go back and click only host. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is waiting rooms. So this is a new default I think that Zoom has started. So as you can see, iPhone has entered the waiting room. So that's me on my phone. But if you wanna view the waiting room, click view, and then this is where you will admit or remove a guest. But let's say, for example, you have a lot of people joining, like maybe 100 people joining your meeting, and you don't want to have to let everybody in one by one. You can change the setting on your Zoom account in your web browser so that you don't have to have a waiting room situation. So I'll show you how to do that now. So we're going to go back into, you know, zoom.us. We're in our account, and we're going to go down to meetings. And you want to click on personal room and click edit. And then here's the option to turn off or turn on the waiting room. So if you have it checked, you will have a waiting room. And if you have it unchecked, you will not have a waiting room. And if you want to close your waiting room, just do this little drop down right here and you can click close. So it's also important to note that if you are using a free Zoom account, you have a 40 minute time limit on your meetings for anything more than a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So even if you have three people, anything that is three or more, you'll have a 40 minute time limit. So if you're hosting a Zoom party, a Zoom wedding, a shower, something like that, and you're gonna have more than two people in attendance, you will have to upgrade your account and I will show you how to do that again in your account settings. So if you're back in your account settings, you're gonna wanna go to account management and click on billing. Okay, so this is where you'll see what plan you're on. I am obviously on a current basic plan, which is free. And this is where it says 40 minute time limit on meetings with three to 100 people. So this is where you'll have to upgrade your account if you are gonna be doing a larger Zoom meeting with a bunch of participants. I also wanna show you a setting if you do have a very large group of people, how to show more people in the gallery view. So I think the default is 20 people and then it just gives you the option to scroll through pages of people if you have more than 20. But you can actually change it to be up to 49 people per gallery view, so I'll show you how to do that. If you move your cursor on your Zoom meeting, you'll see these two things pop up here. If you click on the little eye, you'll see the information for the meeting. So this is where your meeting ID is, your passcode, um, an invitation link. So if you need to just text someone really quick to hop on the meeting, or if they ask you what your password is and you're like, I have no idea, all that information is hiding right here if you just click on that I. But right next to it is this little green check mark and this is lots of Zoom settings. So you obviously have a bunch of settings, but we're gonna go to video and down here display up to 49 participants per screen in gallery view is how you will increase the number of people you can see if you click on gallery view if you have a lot of people showing up to a meeting another good option is the spotlight option so spotlight my video while speaking so if you're the host 
and whenever you're speaking you want your video to pop up bigger to notify people that you're speaking you can click on spotlight my video when speaking and choose that as an option that is it for today i really hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i really appreciate your support Again, if you know anybody who needs help with this kind of stuff, please send this video their way. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.